Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the WL Toys W912 uh, boat. This, we've got a bunch of names, Finder, Impulse, Tiger Shark, and I love this, Speed with Mad Flow. <laughs> anyway, this is a, a brushed boat. Um, it is not super fast here. They say it's about 24 kilometers per hour, which is about 15 miles per hour. Uh, so not really fast, but fast enough to be enjoyable. Um, this does have self-writing, so if it turns upside down, you can just hit reverse and then throttle, and it'll flip itself over. And that does seem to work pretty well. Uh, the back end is pretty simple. It doesn't have any like turning tabs or stabilized tab, but it does have the offset rudder. Um, so it, it seems to turn equally well in both directions. Um, it's a little bit noisy. This is kind of makes a weird sound compared to um, all the other boats I've reviewed. So a little bit weird sounding, but it seemed to work just fine. Um, it comes with a two-cell lithium-ion battery, 1500 milliamp hours. Uh, you could use a 2S LiPo if you wanted. It should give a little bit more speed, but not a huge difference. Um, LiPo and lithium-ion are pretty similar in their power output. Uh, this is our charger. We got a wall powered charger here that charges via the balance port. Oh, and in case you didn't see, it is just a JST plug, so pretty standard plug type there for finding a 2S LiPo or if you wanted to charge it with a hobby grade charger. Uh, this is our transmitter here, which is pretty standard for the uh, WL Toys ground vehicles. We've got your turning here with the wheel and your throttle and then reverse for you know to turn so up if it's upside down you give throttle and then slam uh, forward and it'll flip itself over and then we've got throttle and steering trim here there is no dual rates just trim uh let's see so it takes about an hour and a half to charge with the stock charger and you'll get about six seven minute run times it's kind of hard to know with you know a boat because it could depend on how fast you're going uh, but on average, you should see about six minute run times, probably. Um, I guess that's about all there is to say. Let's open it up and have a look inside. Uh, it does have water cooling. I think it just yeah, it has a little plastic scoop here on the back of the boat to take the water in, and then shoots it out the side here. And so that just goes through the motor, or no, yeah, it does go through the ESC here as well. Uh, so it is water cooled. And that's our battery tray up there in the front. And yeah, that's really all there is to say about it. Um, I've only run this once and it was out on a pretty windy day. So the water was a little choppy and there's quite a bit of wind noise in my hat cam. So I apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, let's go check out that footage. All right, this is the run review of the WL Toys Impulse boat. A little bit windy today, but we should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and give her a toss in and go for it. Actually, let me... Yeah, good thing I checked. Okay, so I am connected. I think the motor doesn't go until it's in the water. Hopefully. Yep. Alright. Get past the seaweed. That's full left turn. Not much of a left turn. Much faster right turn. Speed. It's full speed. Looks like I got some trimming issues. It makes it kind of sounds weird. I think it's working fine. The water's a little choppy, but it's doing pretty good. It doesn't have any like tabs or anything on the back to kind of flatten it out, but it's it's staying pretty solid. Now that I got it trimmed out, the left turns are pretty good. Looks like it turns fairly equally to each side. almost wants to flip over in sharp turns, but it doesn't quite do it. But this does have self-riding, so even if it flips, that's no problem. I think can kind of do a 
reverse a little bit. have the metal tab on the top so yeah I'm pretty sure this has self riding. Let's give that a shot. God dang it. <laughs> it's self righted instantly. Man I immediately got a bunch of seaweed on there too. these things in there upside down and oh my gosh pond weed yeah, this isn't a sea is it Pretty cool little boat. I'm not sure it really has anything going over the feline boats. Not bad for what it is. and I'll see you next time.